I always feel like there's something that's holding me down. Someone at school doesn't have the same story, and if I tell them it, they just make fun of me like, ha ha, you have your father in prison. So it feels kind of good to know that other people know what I'm going through and be able to like tell somebody that you'll trust and that won't like tell anybody else. Love is I love you no matter what, you know, and I know your pain, and I and I want to help you through that. The person who can help someone who's gone through something is often the person who's been through it themselves, and this is where you actually see that happening, not just on paper, but in real life. You teach them one little thing or two little things, and they just they just they light up, they light up, and it's changed their life. You know, they you know their life has changed. in prison and got to, people talked about their kids and you know a lot of times some of them would tell them about their kids aren't able to you know go here or there and they wish they were there to be able to help out and knew that and, and I would kind of just pretty much just share my experience that you know Project Avery has uh, has allowed my children to be able to do different fun things and, and things that educational things too. Avery gives them that safe place where they can just be themselves and where they can really just feel accepted, not feel judged. Like if you can't be yourself the whole year, that one week you'll be yourself, you'll be you. Like the truest, the truest you that there is. I mean to me the only thing like to describe it will probably be just love and family, really. It's like a second home. I really feel like Project Avery has uh, saved, saved my life. You know, my family, you know, it, there was nobody trying to help us.